Hi, this is Christy Hubler, and I own FabricatedFrames.com, and I'm showing you the book that I have for sale. I have, I, I'm an author, where uh, I've created a book called Fabricated Frames uh, Instructions on Making Fabric Photo Frames, and it's available at lulu.com slash spotlight slash fabricated frames for $11.00. It is also available at Amazon.com, as you can see, that's the title, and it is a real book. It's a do-it-yourself book, and actually has an ISBN as well, and basically what it does is it has all the patterns that you would need for making both the non-washable fabric photo frames, basically covered boards uh, with fabric, uh, art boards, and staple and hot glue, etc., and uh, acetate uh, sheet protectors if you want to use it to cover the photo, uh, as well as um, a fusible web to make things smoother. Uh, as well as uh, washable sewn fabric photo frames, which require a sewing machine. But a lot of the products, the supplies that you need are available. You may have them in your home. You can get them at art uh, supply stores, Joann's, etc., uh, Michael's, uh, AC Moore, Hobby Lobby, uh, quilt shops sometimes too. And uh, basically, it has in it... The, it has, besides having patterns, which I'll show you in a moment, it has the tools list of the things that you need for both the non-washable and the washable sewn fabric photo frames. You get a tools list that explains everything. You even get a graph paper, quarter inch size cubes that you could use just in case you accidentally lose the other uh, parts and or pages for whatever reason, and uh, you have this as a backup. So I'm giving you a graph paper as a backup. And then, as well, you're also getting, you're getting patterns for the uh, non-washable uh, fabric photo frames. This area here is where you would join it with uh, the iron in between here, so that way this is a two-piece covered both sides with fabric. Where it joins here is, allows it to bend, so you can have it stand upright with the ribbon at the bottom. For both the non-washable and the washable, you would have a ribbon at the bottom. Um, the washable sewn fabric frame, you would have, uh, you'd stitch it up top and have the board go in this way. Uh, same thing with uh, the washable sewn uh, fabric photo frame. There's a pocket up top for the board to go down. Like this one, as you can see. This is a... <laughs> holding the camera and doing this at the same time. As you can see, like that. Pocket up top, pocket for the photo, pocket for the leg, pocket for the board for the easel back to make it stand upright and sturdy. Ribbon at the bottom, and you have pattern. You have a graph pattern here for the structure of the legs, uh, just in case you you if you want to trace over it, cut it out, uh, follow the guide of the squares, and you won't go wrong. Uh, towards the back, let me see. I have I tell you how to cut the dimensions for all the other parts, and as well here. I have uh, patterns. I have patterns for as well for all the legs. I have six patterns for the struts and dimensions for all six sizes, from the little teeny little frames that you get with you know the photos you get with the school pictures, wallet size four by six, five by seven. I have two frame uh, sizes for five by seven and um, a size for eight by tens, and I have patterns for both non-washable and washable in here for all six sizes for both. And I have photo step-by-step -step instructions, literally as you go, how to do each one 
for both structure types, non-washable towards the front of the book and washable in the back of the book. I also have tips and tricks as far as how to make them successfully, how to make the fabric photo frame successfully for both the non-washable and the washable sewn fabric photo frame. This is a uh, uh, chart is, gives you the dimensions of what the overall size of each frame size looks like, what fusible web looks like, uh, how it looks kind of like glue with a paper backing. You can get that at joanne.com or you can get it at a Joanne store or any other uh, Notion store that sells fusible web uh, as well or Hancock fabric. And as well, I also, as you can see, I have, see, I have uh, graph paper with the uh, pockets for each of the uh, uh, strut uh, pieces that you would need, what each size would look like. You don't have to have the flaps if you don't want to. You could just trace over it or cut it around it or uh, redraw it if you want using the graph paper as your guide. Uh, you could just have it where the boards go in and out. I just put the flaps on uh, in case you want to cover the openings uh, with from dust, like the top of the opening. It's really up to you, you know, what you want to do. Uh, but just follow the instructions. Make sure that you uh, have the legs go, the struts go the right way, so that way all you don't have to cut extra pieces of fabric. So normally the legs, the strut the leg uh, faces downwards towards the right bottom so if you if you decide to do it the other way make sure that all your other pieces go that way uh, go left if you decide to make them go left uh, this is just going to face underneath uh, depending on where you put the closures if you decide to use the flaps if you don't then it doesn't matter just make sure they all go in the same direction okay and uh, again, we have photo step-by-step -step instructions. And I also have e-patterns, where they're PDF files, direct, uh, exact, true size for all the parts, every piece of fabric, the dimensions, the parts for that, uh, what to cut the boards, everything. And they're available for a dollar a piece, but I have all 12 patterns Six for each non-washable fabric photo frame size. Six for each fabric wash uh, washable fabric sewn fabric photo frame. Uh, Twelve in all in the book for eleven dollars. And there are a lot of times you could get the book on sale for twenty, thirty percent off. You know, so it's really a good deal to go through lulu.com, l-u-l-u.com slash spotlight slash fabricated frames. Or go to my site and you can go from there. Thank you very much. This is Christy Hubler with FabricatedFrames.com. And thank you for considering purchasing my book. Thank you.